When you open the Wired ESB Museum and Archives map, check any of the boxes of the layers on the left to reveal the data. Use your cursor to drag and drop in order to move around and see different things on the map. Use the plus and minus sign to zoom in and zoom out. Click on one icon to reveal information about the location on the left side panel. You can scroll up and down to reveal more information and if there are pictures you'll see them up here and you can click between different images if there are more than one. Alternatively, use the panel on the left, click on one of the map locations, and the side panel will open again. Hide layers by unchecking boxes, and reveal them by checking the box. If you want to work with the data that's in this map by creating your own, click on the three dots on the top right. Select Download KML. You have the option to download the entire map or individual layers. I'll select this individual layer to download. OK. That layer downloads as a KMZ file. In order to use that data, I'll go into my drive, click New, More, Google My Maps. When the map opens, I'll give it a title by clicking on Untitled Map, an optional description, and Save. I'll click Import in order to bring in the data that I just downloaded. I can upload it from a file on my device. I can pull in a file from my Google Drive. In this case, I'm just going to drag and drop it because it's sitting right there. The plus sign means it's about to be uploaded to this map. Depending on the amount of data in the layer, it may take time for it to upload. This little warning is OK. Nothing seems to be happening even though this warning is appearing. Just click OK. Once the map refreshes, you'll see that layer appears with all of the data coming from its original source. At this point, I can zoom in. And now the difference is, when I was looking at the Wired ESB Museums and Archives map, I was in a preview mode where I could not edit the data. In this case, I'm in an editable My Map. I can now edit any of these locations and the data that comes with it because I'm in an editable version of a My Map. In order to preview this data, I can click on the preview icon And this is what it would look like in preview mode, similar to the original map we were focusing on. As well, if I want to work on this map collaboratively, I can click on the share icon and input the gaps address of somebody else in the district to work on this map collaboratively. I can add an additional layer and include any personalized data that would make sense for the map that I'm building.